Hey creators, today I've got a very fast tutorial for you. It's how to import and export DaVinci Resolve projects. So you can share these projects with anybody or you can just move them on your hard drive or to a network drive. Makes it really simple to do that. So we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, so I have a project here. It's one of my earlier tutorials. If you haven't checked it out, it's how to create this intro with text. And it's really simple to do. The link is up in the description in the upper right. Yeah, so the first thing I wanna show you is how to export a project out of Resolve. And there is a shortcut for that. You can hit Control E and on a Mac, that would be Command E. And so you can see we get this dialogue that pops up here and it's gonna ask us where we wanna save this. So we can go ahead and move it to the location we wanna do this. I'll go ahead and hit save. I'm gonna call this text cutout intro and it's gonna save it as a DRP file. If you don't like shortcuts, you can go up here to file and up here to export project. There are some other options I'm gonna cover in a later video, how to export AAF, XML files, and how to export metadata. So we'll cover those later, but this is just the simple import export. So we have this project now exported into a DRP file. And so you can email that to somebody else. You can save it on another drive. The important thing is Resolve is going to need to know where all those assets are. So if you do move it to another computer, you're going to have to reattach all those assets. That's pretty simple to do. If you have media so that's not showing up, it'll show up as red here. And we can go in there. Basically, let me find the, the footage here. You can right click on this and you can say relink selected clip up here. So you can go in here then and find your clips wherever you have them. So if you're exporting a project and trying to do collaboration, say sending those to somebody else, make sure that you send them all of your assets, all your video and audio files that you want included with whatever you wanna send them. And the other important thing is, let me go ahead and cancel that. The other important thing that you need to remember is they have to be on the same version of Resolve. So if you're working in the free version, the project has to be open in a free version. If you're working in Studio, same there. It has to be another Studio machine that opens it. Your same machine will obviously work if you're just moving it on network location. That's no big deal. Okay, so now let's go and import a file. I'll show you how to do that. What we want to do is go to the project manager and you can hit shift one to get there or you can go up to this menu up here and it's the file menu and go to project manager here. Now you're going to have kind of your, your interface here and you can decide where you want to put it. So say I have a different folder I want to move it to. We can go ahead and click that, get to that folder. And then we can click in this dialog box here and put import project. And there it is, text cutout intro. Go ahead and hit open, and it takes just a half a second. And there the project is. So everything is there. We can go ahead and open it. Okay, and there's the same project. So that's pretty simple to do. Like I said, you've got to send all your assets, all your video and audio files if you're gonna collaborate and send this to someone else. And if you're moving it onto a new network location, you may also need to reattach all of the assets again. So that's the easy way to do it, importing and exporting files into DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully that was helpful and quick enough for you today, you got the information you needed. Thanks for watching today. Take care, everybody.